Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicad. In this video, in this very short video, I want to talk about um, two different ways of doing a transformation in Power Query inside Power BI Desktop or in Power Query in Dataflow in Microsoft Fabric. Uh, one of them is add column when you want to do the transformation and add a column based on that. And the other one is the transform uh, uh, column. Uh, they are in two different tabs in Power Query Editor. Sometimes you might go and do one of them, not realizing that it is different from the other one. Uh, very simple transformations, but with a big difference. So I'm going to show you in a demo how this is going to work. Let's jump into that video. Okay, so let's go and have a look at this example here. Uh, so when you open Power Query in Power BI Desktop or Power Query in, uh, inside, uh, inside Microsoft Fabric, doesn't matter which one, uh, they are two, there are two tabs here. One tab is Add Column, the other tab is Transform. Uh, and you can do transformations in most of these, um, um, like most of the transformation can be done in both of these. Like for example, uh, as you can see in the add column tab, I have a transformation which is merge column. Now it is disabled because I haven't selected any columns, but I do have that also in the add column tab, merge columns. So what is the actual difference between these two? Uh, some of the transformations are only available in one of these, but most of the transformations are available in both. Uh, so when you have these transformations in both of these places, the big difference is that do you want to transform the data and add a new column as a result of that transformation, keep the existing column intact, or do you want to uh, remove the existing columns and build a new column instead, like transform the existing one? That is the difference. Like for example here, I'm, I'm going to show you two different examples. So let's say here I have this um, uh, employee table. Employee table has first name, last name, middle name. Now let's say uh, I want to create a full name based on first name and last name as a concatenated value of these. So I can hold the control key, select these two, uh, and then right click, and you would have merge column option here, right? So when you right click on a column, you'll see some of the transformations. Now, if I use this merge column, uh, this merge column is actually equivalent of going to transform tab, not the add column tab, the transform tab and doing the merge column. So when I do that, you'll see that these two columns would disappear instead. And I would choose like, what is that merge column name? Let's call it full name uh, and the separator. Let's have it as a space. So these two would be replaced by that full name. Right? You see, the middle name is still there. Uh, but those first name and last name are now gone because this is done as a transformation. Now, if I go and remove this step and go and select these two one more time, go to Transform tab, do the Merge column, exactly the same thing happens. So right-click ex actually act exactly like that uh, going to Transform tab. Right? You see, exactly the same thing happens. This column is replaced the other two. Uh, whereas if I select these two and then go to add column tab, under the add column tab when I go and do the merge, this time it would keep the existing columns. Let's call this full name again. It would keep the existing columns and it would add a new column as a result of that transformation at the end of the table. So these two columns are still there as you can see. And if I scroll all the way to the right, I see this new column added as a result. So that is the difference. Now, depending on the type of transformations you might do, depending on do you want to keep the existing columns or not, you might choose one over the other. Like in this case that I have first name and last name, I most likely want to keep them plus having the full name because first name and last name, I might do some analysis just based on first name, just based on last name, things like that, depending on the business. In some scenarios, I might want to replace it. Like for example, here you see I have a fact sales table. In this fact sales table, I have sales amount by product, by customer, things like that. But I do not have a full date column. What I do have instead is year, month, and day. Um, year, month, and day are uh, basically showing the date of the transaction. Uh, instead of having three separate columns explaining that, I can actually select these three 
and merge them under the transform tab because I don't want them individually. I have those already in my dim date table. I just need this to be a full date column so that then I can uh, connect it to my date table when I load it into Power BI. So here then I can go to transform tab, do the merge column or basically just right click here and say merge columns, which is similar to the transform tab. I would call this date or order date. Uh, separator, for example, let's say is a hyphen or dash. This would create that as a mm, like concatenated value, replace the existing one, and then I would change this easily to a date value. Um, this is much better than having three separate columns, whereas in the employee example table, I had those three and it, it would have made much more sense uh, to go and do that transformation over there. So here is a really quick video example of how these two are different in Power Query. When you go to add column tab to the transformation, which adds the new column, or if you go to transform column tab, uh, a transform tab and do the transformation. Not every transformation is possible in both of these, but many of them are possible. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. Until the next video, bye.